Go forward, Max. Go forward. Go forward. Get around those hands. Get around those hands. Get your head positioning. No, 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 no. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Face them. Face them. Face them. Go, Kiki. Attack his arm. Liam, get her off of him. Let's go. Head to head, Yadi. Head to head. Oh, no, I wouldn't have done that. Get yes. Yes. Nice. Good. <laughs> Sensation. Good. 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 That you might appreciate it because I think you get a, you would get away with it too. I gotta get a haircut. This situation is getting holy smokes. God. Did I remember my old wrestling coaches would walk like the way I'm walking now and be like, why do they walk that way? And now that I'm walking that way, now I understand why they walk that way. The idea is simple. Keep him from grabbing my neck. If he grabs my neck, it's gonna stick you to the ground. You're gonna end up getting stuck here, okay? You have two against one. If you start to hug his head this way, he's gonna lazy boy that off. Now he's got an absolute advantage scenario, three against one. So I don't wanna put myself in this spot, which is what we worked last week. I wanna stay here. The idea is simple. If he swims his hand to the inside, we must re-swim. My first line of defense is my elbow, so when he goes to swim, the elbow blocks him. If he beats my elbow, then we can re-swim. If he swims and grabs my head, boom, what I don't want to happen is I don't want his elbow to go deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the frame rigid, tension in the rope. Now I'm going to swim my hand under. Now we have a couple of choices here. Choice number one is to comb my hair. I'm gonna put on your yarmulke, because here comes Hanukkah. My hand goes all the way to the yarmulke insertion position. Boop, now keep it tight, keep it tight. Here, and then my head clears out. Option one. Now there are two levels of the yarmulke, standard, and then the caterpillar. Standard is when he goes here, a standard swim, boop, standard swim, or you're gonna go into a caterpillar swim. So from here, sometimes what happens is, He's very strong, so I can't lift it. So when he relaxes, that's when I go. When he relaxes, that's when I go, right? So red light, green light on uh, the Caterpillar swim. If he grabs your neck deep, now what we can do is we can lock the arm. So even though he's gotten to our neck and we failed, it doesn't really matter because it's all a matter of what he can do from here. So my knee will start to come up and I'm gonna lazy boy the arm here, right here. If he tries to pull the arm away, I go with it. I absorb. If I stay on my back and he pulls the arm away, the arm's gonna come out. So what I'm gonna do is as he pulls away, I absorb. And what tends to happen is he starts pulling really hard. Boof, now my hand's back inside. Now he's gotta get back, back to where we were. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an obstacle between him not having my neck and him grabbing my neck. I am putting an obstacle in the way. And this battle, which is so, it's uncommon, it's very uncommon. Most people, you let grab their neck, you let it go, you grab their neck, you let it go. There's no, there's no battle there, but this creates a problem. Now, one of the biggest issues that happens is his weight starts to slide north. Go ahead, there. And then the weight starts going over your arms and now you start to get fatigued. What you need to understand is you can use your elbows here to frame. So if he tries to come north, my, he's running into my elbows. And if he does start to slide, I can move myself away as well, maintaining the same angle. So for right now, we're looking to stop the swim. If he grabs my neck, I'm gonna clear. Do your best. It, it does take a little bit of finesse to be able to do that, putting on your yarmulke. Because what I'm doing is, I, is I'm elevating his elbow with my elbow. And now I'm making a hole that my head comes out. We will coach you along. I understand that this is a process. Oh yeah, by the way, your eyes are closed. Your eyes are closed, why? Because when you lose control of the arm, go, no, no. When you pull, pull, and I lose control. Where's his arm? I don't know. If I start to reach for the arm, eyes open, eyes closed, he can, he can swim his hand on the inside and grab my neck. Whether my eyes are open or closed, that can happen, yes or no, yeah. right? So what I want you to focus on is the second that he pulls away from my hands, not only do they come up to my head, but my head comes to him. 
This angle makes it impossible for him to punch me straight, forcing a hooking punch. Now, I can see between my frame. So as I see the punch get close to me, boom, I push it down and away. And now we're back to square one. So even if my eyes are closed and I lose control, boom, I don't need to see to stop the punch. What I'm building is a reaction. The second I lose it, boom, I do this. That's the safest place you're gonna be. Questions? Let's play with it. Uh, one person on top, one person on the bottom. Person on the top, obviously you're trying to get to a windshield wiper scenario where it's two against one. Absolute advantage. Person on the bottom, don't let them do that. By hugging the neck, you're giving them a lazy boy. So don't hug the neck. You gotta stay here, walk with them. Keep the elbows framed out. And don't spend too much energy on the bottom. One on top, ready, set, go.